Okay, this one is a Borg cube playset. The interior, it's actually three levels, painted in flat black and metallic silver. Brace yourself, catch Picard, it's going to become Locutus. We're working on Captain Picard, putting a microchip control to his cranium with the probe. Not the probe. A close look at the apparatus. Please, no. Notice the thing holding Captain Picard down. There's also another probe planting something in his leg. <laughs> Wait for it. This thing is brutal. Over here we have some sort of machine that appears to inject lubricants other necessary fluids Focusing. but these old video we cameras were horrible they were huge you too notice, you notice here the the arm ready for implantation sort of sensor that rotates. I always tried to put something that kids could turn on and off, a light, a motor or something. Uh oh, wait for it. Power switch. Ah, that's going to leave a mark. Ah, brutal. The side of the board ship. Oh, this one had a panel. Just the light here. Light is shining on the. The board. lighting is horrific. Yes. Hive representation. There it is. I don't know if we can pick that up or not. Yes, there we go. Resistance is futile. <laughs> Board working at one of the control panels. Moving now to the second level. The card is still on the third level. See a Borg intraship transporter. It's the holographic hive like cool view screen. Moving down, third level. See the view screen with the wow. board ship and the Enterprise. Well, not very well, but this thing weighed a ton, man. A Borg at one of the cryogenic units. He seems to be accessing it. See if we can see. Uh, notice his other hand is on a, on a panel here. Wonder what he's going to find inside there. No, great special effects. And the Oscar Borg for sound the, editing goes to not you. To <laughs> Where we find a Borg in his regenerative cubicle. Now this one Where is empty, waiting for the next one to come along. I had these node things that were pretty cool looking at the top. Moving down the corridor. Oh, there's my pointer. <laughs> Tom holding a giant video camera because I can't see where that's I'm... That's the uh, control pad. That's the one that data accessed. I have two Borgs at access panels. Now this guy, he's looking right at us. Let's see if we can get a close up. No way. Hard to keep him in focus. 
Ernest you can't even tell. Morgan Osborne. Moving on up to the second level. Can't see too well. See another inside. panel. This thing was very elaborate. Around the corridor. Again, the transporter. I had to start from the inside and work and out. View screen. So I did the inside bottom first. Here. Oops. That's Pay attention, it. cameraman. Sorry. Upper level. Now to go inside the heart of the ship. You don't see a whole lot. This is the interior of the ship. If I can get a better angle here. See a view screen. What appears to be a Borg transporter right there. Put that in. There's various other things on the wall. Not screen accurate, of course. Swinging around. Since they never really yeah. use a transporter, they just to see that personal transporter. Or something just disappeared, man. The effect was cool. Ventilation system. Nothing else is recognizable. It appears to be a representation of oh, eight cubicle Borg, Borg ships massed and combined to make one mega ship. That would One be formidable. Hive. Frightening, isn't it? Yes. This ship. I feel like I'm being assimilated now right on now. Display. A sound monitor. Hear <laughs> Ruffy barking outside. This is one way communications. So I had a baby sound monitor with a tape recorder going. That was my nephew. I made the original video to show him. Yeah. This is what the whole ship looks like. Weighs like 50 pounds. The Borg interior. Cubicle. I am out.